welcome back to Yukai the Turtle. So, I normally do tank setup videos, but today I'm going to do a video that's a little bit different. Today I'm doing the top 10 fish for a Nano Reef. Okay, so the, the first fish on my list is going to be clownfish. Clownfish are really great, easy fish for a nano reef. They can be in tanks 10 gallons and up. 10 gallons though is really the minimum for them because they need space. And as you can see with Seeky and Storm, clownfish aren't just orange and white like Nemo. Clownfish can be cut in many colors. Seeky and Storm are designer frostbite clownfish, oscillaris clownfish. They're also designer perculas and other types of designer oscillaris clownfish. Oscillaris and percula clownfish are really great because most of the time they are non aggressive and very peaceful towards your tank mates. A one, if you're looking for oscillaris and percula, ju just so you know, oscillaris clownfish are definitely the hardier of the two from what I've heard. And they've got lots of personality. And Ocellaris clownfish and Percula clownfish and all clownfish in general love sea anemones. They, well, not really, not captive red ones all the time, but a lot of clown, some clownfish will host anemones. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that sums it up about clownfish. Okay, so the next fish on my list is shrimp gobies. Shrimp gobies are little gobies that are basically bottom dwelling fish, but they have a symbiotic relationship with pistol shrimps. Pistol shrimps are these shrimps that can produce a snapping sound with their pistol. In my tank, I have a Yasha Hase shrimp goby with my Randall's pistol shrimp, and they get along great with other fish. Pistol shrimp and gobies can be kept in tanks as low as five gallons because they don't require much space. They just need a deep sand bed so they can feel happy. They are rarely aggressive. Pistol shrimp do sometimes pick off other ornamental shrimp species, but that's less likely if it has a goby to feed it. Also, some types of shrimp gobies besides the Ashihase one are yellow watchman goby, and other relatives to the Yashahase Gobi. Yashahase Gobis are one of my favorite shrimp gobies to pair up with the candy cane crystal shrimp because they look so good together because they're both red. Okay, so I think that pretty much wraps it up for shrimp gobies. Okay, so the next fish on my list is Tail spot blennies. Tail spot blennies are those, these quirky little fish like I have in my tank. He still doesn't have a name. So maybe in the comments, somebody could drop a name for that blenny and maybe I'll consider it because he just doesn't have a name. Okay, so back to tail spot blennies. They can be kept in tanks as small as 10 gallons. Mine is in a 20 gallon, which he loves. They're not very aggressive and they stick to the rocks in your tank. They, mine hides in a hole in the rock. They are very quirky, cute fish, full of personality. I would recommend these to anyone. They're amazing fish. And they eat algae. Uh, but mine has not really eaten any algae I wanted to eat. Just algae, I don't really care if it eats or not. Okay, so, Tailspot Blenny's also will pretty much eat about anything, so there's no like food problems with them. And they don't really get in trouble with many fish, so I think that pretty much wraps it up for the little tail spot blennies. Pretty cute fish, I'd say so myself. Okay, so the next fish I have on my list is one of my favorite fish that I own. It's a firefish. As you can see, I put almost all the fish I own 
first on the list because they're the fish I have the most experience with in my tank size. And I just think they rock in my tank. So, firefish are really cool. You can get them in three different variants as far as I know. You can get them in purple firefish, like my firefish pinks. You can get them in normal firefish, which is like this red fish with a longer antenna than my purple firefish has is. You can get them as a health freakies firefish, which is very expensive. They're like the purple firefish, except for they're a lot more purple and they're all purple, I'm pretty sure. Firefish can be kept in tanks, I would say about 10 gallons at minimum. Most of these fish can be kept in like 10 gallon minimum. There might be one that can be kept in smaller, but yeah, the gobies. But firefish will eat pretty much anything. They aren't really that picky, but they like to hide in holes. Mine lives in a hole under his rock, and he loves it. It was dug by a brittle star, so it's pretty funny, but he likes it, and yeah, I think that's what I'd say about the firefish. I think they're a pretty awesome fish, and they're great for beginners. Next fish on my list is the court jester goby. I have a court jester goby. He is probably hiding in my tank. My court jester goby's name is Pep. Court jester gobies can be in a tank, probably 10 gallon at minimum, just like almost everyone else on this list so far, which I think is pretty hilarious. Court jester gobies are sand sifters, which means they sift through the sand for food. S mine doesn't really eat prepared foods, but some people's do. Court Jester Gobies, they're just a pretty awesome fish all around. Great colors, good personality. Hey, mine literally lives in a hole with my brittle star and purple firefish, which I think is hilarious and it's obviously funny. They are very easy to care for. You, the only reason you might have a problem with them is if they refuse to eat or something and they get skinny and die. Personally, I would not recommend this to like a first time, like first, like, I don't know, maybe like your first couple months of your aquarium, but maybe a couple months in. Yeah, that would be a great time to get a court jester goby because your tank's more mature. And if you get a court jester goby, get one that is able to eat prepared food. And yeah, they won't suffer as much because they don't have microfauna to feed on. And, yep, that's what I would think about court jester gobies. So the next fish on my list is the PJ cardinal fish, also known as the pajama cardinal fish, pretty much the same thing. Pajama cardinal fish are a cardinal fish. They're related to the Bengai cardinal fish. So I guess this care could really go for both of them. But pajama cardinal fish are definitely the cheaper of the two. Bungai cardinal fish are pretty expensive. Okay, so Bungai cardinal fish can be kept in pro a 10 gallon or up, like most fish on this list. And pajama cardinal fish are nocturnal. I've heard they can be pretty boring, but I don't know for myself personally. But pajama cardinal fish seem like a pretty cool fish. They got cool colors. And it seems like they're pretty easy to care for because I've been on so many easy to care for fish lists I've read about. And also, I've definitely, I've been, I've thought about, I once researched a ton about them, try, thinking about getting one for my reef and just decided on other fish anyway. But pajama cardinal fish are a good schooling fish. Unlike Bengai cardinal fish, they won't just kill each other off until there's just two left. No, they'll school. They hang out in a group together, so, but they're nocturnal, so they're not going to do much. And they'll eat pretty much anything, so yeah. That's pretty much all I can think about for the Bengai Cardinal Fish. Okay, so for this one, I'm joined by my cat, Kiki. As uh, you can see, he's not very happy. And Kiki, what do you want to say? Okay, so the next one is neon gobies. Neon gobies are cool little gobies that are like cleaner shrimp. They'll clean parasites off larger fish. They can be kept, I would personally say, in a five gallon aquarium. They're so tiny. They are so easy to care for. They were one of the first fish bred in captivity. 
and they're not like a fish that's gonna kill other neon gobies. They're not aggressive at all. They can they live in mate. You can buy them as a mated pair. You can buy them as single. You can buy a group of them. They're not gonna really be aggressive to each other. And neon gobies will eat pretty much anything. They'll swim around the whole tank. And if you put keep them like a reef with a bunch of larger fish, they'll probably pick the dead skin and parasites off your larger fish so you won't have to worry about them getting sick. Okay, so um, that pretty much wraps it up for neon gobies. So the next fish on my list is the royal grandma. Royal grandma are very, very pretty blue and what, yellow fish. I would not get them in any tank probably larger i would only get a royal grandma in a tank that is 30 gallons or up because they can be territorial about the rocks they live on so unless you're going to keep a royal grandma in a tank with no other rock dwelling inhabitants i would keep it in a 30 gallon just from research but maybe a 20 gallon would be okay but i would not keep it in a 10 gallon of other rock dwellers Royal Grandma's like um, uh, the other fish on this list. They'll eat pretty much anything. They're really easy to care for, and they can be in larger reefs, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about nano reefs. And they are very pretty. They have lots of personality, like most fish on this list. And this is very important. Don't get them confused with the with the i don't know the royal the royal dotty back it looks like the royal grandma but it is not it's extremely aggressive it will kill other fish and it will not be nice to your fish at all you will regret buying this thing do not accidentally buy a royal dotty back okay so that pretty much sums it up for a royal grandma Okay, so the next fish on this list is the yellow clown goby. Yellow clown gobies are cute little gobies that can be kept in very small tanks. I would say the smallest tank they can be kept in is a five gallon. But yeah, they can be kept in pretty much any tank with the right inhabitants. Yellow clown gobies enjoy perching on corals like SPS. This might irritate them, but I'm sure that they'll get used to it. Yellow clown gobies will eat all sorts of things. But, as a warning, I have heard that they occasionally will nip your SPS corals polyps and eat them if they're not getting fed enough. But I would hope that nobody's starving their clown gobies to that point that they're going to eat that. So I think you'd be fine if you got one. They're otherwise very cute fish <laughs> that have a lot of personality and they swim through rocks all day long. I personally think they could just be a centerpiece fish in their own aquarium. I would love to get one, but my tank is currently maxed out on fish. Um, so yeah, I would say that pretty much sums it up for the clown gooby. Okay, so last but not least, the molly. Mollies are amazing beginner fish in both types of tanks, salt and freshwater. And brackish because they can be converted between the two types brackish is just kind of in between but personally i think brackish is kind of salt water salt in the water with less of it okay so now mollies can be kept in a 20 gallon or up in salt water they grow a lot bigger than fresh water a self and molly in fresh water will grow maybe like three four inches in salt water it could grow like six or seven inches it's crazy difference that what the fish lives in can make Self mollies are very easy fish to care for. They'll eat pretty much anything, but there might be a problem with finding saltwater mollies. So you might have to acclimate them from freshwater to saltwater. I have never personally done this, and I probably will someday, but I have no plans to do it anytime soon. So if you attempt this, you probably should research it beforehand. And mollies, they just have a lot of personality. I used to have two in my freshwater tank who were like always danced in front of the glass when I saw them. Also, as a bonus to this, guppies can also be kept in salt water. They're just a little less tolerant to it because of the flow and they're smaller fish and they get blown around. But for guppies, you have to acclimate them even longer. 
Yes, and I would not actually say guppies are an easy beginner fish for a reef at all. Well, pretty much sums it up for this whole video. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my video. Well, bye.